Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to do favorites, fails, and mess. But before we dive in here, I want to make sure that I give special thanks to all of you, the Fritzy family, who is so kind, generous, and loving. First of all, the people I can't send a thank you card to. I'm just going to give first names that way. You know, so thank you Sharon and Laura for your monetary gifts. These gifts are given to me sometimes by you guys so that I can improve the channel with content and that's how I'm able to buy some of the things that I buy to review for you guys. So I'm thanking everybody who's ever done that right here if it was here's a cup of coffee or please buy some high-end makeup to review. Thank you so much. Also, I got some packages and this one just happens to be sitting right here. Look at this. <laughs> it says glitzy fritzy on this. Look. <laughs> and look, it's got little, you see them? So it like works <gasps> like a real case. It's a business card holder. Uh, this was sent to me by Kathleen. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank you, Stephanie, for sending me the modules from Refer that you didn't want that came with your order. And for those of you who got in on the holiday sale, oh, was that not fantastic <laughs> or what? Thank you, Stephanie. Because I added yours to mine, I now have from this side to this side everything I need right in front of me. And Thank you, Carla, for sending me your Sigma um, skincare brushes. I gave mine away or somebody got them. I don't know. There's some things that turn up missing in here. And I'm like, where is that? <laughs> Pretty sure I gave the Sigma brush set to somebody, probably in a giveaway. Because I do that sometimes when I have a giveaway. If I have extra stuff here, then I will put that in with the stuff that was one. Jody sent me some big sexy hair powders. Um, and thank you. I didn't, I got to switch glasses. I'm sorry. My eyelashes keep banging on those. <laughs> Jody sent me like an entire aisle of death. You know how you do the checkout at Sephora, you know, and they've got the little samples of stuff that you can buy that's cheaper than buying a full size product. I call that the aisle of death because it gets me every time. I mean, like I'm not killing my charge card enough at Sephora in the first place, but then have to go through all those cute samples and trials of things. Yeah, there was tons of like deluxe stuff that she sent me in there also. So thank you so much, Jody. There were some favorites of mine in there and there was also some stuff I'd never tried before. And kicking off into our lifestyle things, I wanna say thank you to Sherry for sending the box of edible things, you know, Adkins chocolates, which, <laughs> I found out you probably shouldn't eat all of it at once. Okay, I did. I was stress eating the chocolates. <laughs> there was like Adkins versions of M&Ms with peanuts in it and some caramel chocolate bars. And I'm like popping in my mouth. And so she sent me lists. There's three of the six left in here. I went through them pretty quickly because I love wisps. So I gotta tell you something though. Somebody, and I will try to look this up, somebody said, if you like these wisps, Mary, you've got to try this brand called Umlands. So I went and ordered these. It's Gouda, Cheddar, and Pepper Jack. Now the Pepper Jack is all gone because I ate them all but I did make myself not eat all of these so that I could show you the difference. A wisp kind of looks like a little bit of cheddar cheese and I baked it. That's what you would expect. Mmm, that smells good. Um, has a really sharp taste and it does have a little bit of an aftertaste, okay? That's a wisp does. But heck, do some dip, put them in your salads, just eat them. I'll show you a cheddar umlun. It's a small family business. So like Troy takes care of the sales and stuff and his brother uh, and his wife actually make the omelets. Okay, but here, so here's the difference. This is more of a pellet kind of thing. This has a milder taste and it has no aftertaste. But I really do prefer the omelets now that I have found them, but I still do love wisps. They have the exact same nutritional value because they are the same product, they're cheese. I'm just <laughs> grabbing things off a pile over there. As you can see, I got a different lens on here that doesn't blur everything out in the back and, and stuff, but I needed it because my granddaughter wanted to do a movie. Can we do a movie, Mama, where I, and she wanted to put on my makeup, so I did. Mama really needs makeup, don't she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> did, and I had to switch lenses. So if that's annoying you, I'm very sorry. Anyway. This here is my new 
heated eyelash curler, the Grande Lash Lift. For about six or seven years, I guess, I've used the uh, Blink one, but it finally bit the dust. I've had it for a long time, used it a lot. Uh, I lose it and find it, and you know, but that thing really ate the batteries. So this time I replaced it with one that you charge. See, you charge it with a USB cord. So you just take this and you press in the button until it comes on. That's low, that's high. The tip will turn clear when it's ready to use. I really like it. I love that I'm not gonna have to buy any more batteries, but I will tell you that this one is not as hot as the Blink was. So if you get this, you have to hold it on your eyelashes for a little bit and then come through it. I always thought that you were supposed to do this before you put on your mascara, but the instructions in here say to do it after, which is what I've always done. Let me slide this in here. Look at this. Thank you, BK Beauty, for sending this little travel kit to me. This is their newest launch. It is a very nice case look at that 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 just fits actually that can fit in my purse so if you have a big purse you could just put this in your purse but this is a really nice case and i've just got this in here to show you the size of palette that could fit in here so i don't think it was any kind of a mistake that the bk beauty palette fits right in there but you could put some makeup in there if you wanted to i want to remove that palette so that i don't drop it on the floor accidentally now it comes with not all these brushes but i have these in here to show you the full version versus the travel version of the brushes Wait, look, isn't that cute I just love that little handle on there. It's the 101 and here's the full size 101. So I just wanted to show you those next to each other in case you were wondering. It's the same quality that you love from this brush, the travel version. So I would say that the heads are exactly the same. What has changed is the handle. It is shorter. You get the 202 the 203, the 207, which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite brushes from BK Beauty. Uh, the foundation brush, very, very nice. The 101 and the 107 all come in this handy dandy little case. So you could put those in there, put your favorite palette in there, zip it up and go. Very nice, very substantial. Thank you so much again, BK Beauty. I love it. I saw my friend Mary Ellen after 60 talking about these two things and I purchased them from her links. I have so many measuring spoon sets that have stuff missing from them. And I don't like having to get the whole set washed because they're on a ring together and I only used one thing and I was like, perfect. They're all magnetic. <laughs> so yes, this is a leveler. It goes on the top, but each one of these has a rounded, and a oblong. So if you have to get inside a can of spice, you know how this sometimes doesn't fit. Even Shy Guy was like, cool, where'd you get those? So thank you for showing those, Mary Ellen. I really, really like them. And this is a paper towel holder. This goes on the refrigerator. The, it's magnets, huge, strong. You can put it this way or this way, however you prefer. I have to admit, I laughed at my daughter. If you're watching, honey, I am sorry, again. <laughs> so, you know how you're cutting up onions and smashing garlic and cutting it all up and getting your hands in it and stuff when you're cooking and then what? Your hands smell like garlic and onions and stuff for days afterwards. And yeah, I know you can use like lemon and stuff like that to get it out, but I'm lazy, I guess. I just put up with that smell. And she goes, mom, take and rub them. This is stainless steel. She's like, rub them on your, on your tumbler. She's always aggravating and stuff. So of course I didn't believe her. So I'm doing it and I'm thinking, they're gonna, they've got a camera somewhere. They're making fun of me. I know they are. <laughs> and I'm doing this number, okay? And oh my gosh. What well, did you know it? Yes, it did. It came out. So she goes, I know they make bars of soap like that. She wishes she got the one I did because I have a little holder and it sits by my kitchen sink now. So if I chop up onions, I just take this, get it wet. And just like I would if I had a bar of soap, except this never goes away. 
I do this number and I don't know why, but there's something about the stainless steel that takes that smell right out of your hands. And since we're talking about neat tricks like that, I want to share with you um, some images. Okay, so this is my kitchen table. My oldest daughter years ago, she put a hot bowl of chicken and noodles, not once, but twice on my table and ruined the end of it. And I was like, thank you very much. That makes me very happy, honey, because <laughs> we didn't pay almost $2,000 for that table. <laughs> and then at some point, somebody else did it to the far end and my beautiful table. Well, let's just say I was embarrassed to death on Thanksgiving when it came time to take the tablecloth off and everyone could see this. Also, in the living room next to my chair, I have a little table. Okay, that I had done the same thing too with a cup of coffee. I was gonna hire a professional to come out to the house and take care of this. And then my son-in-law said, I could get it out. My daughter's like, yeah, we can get it out. I'm like, no, thank you, leave it alone. You'll make it worse. So they told me if you take a tea towel and a hot iron, not the steam, okay, but a hot iron, and you iron it, it will come out. And I'm like, yeah, right. So the next morning I did it and it's gone. Ta-da! So I guess what happens is, is the moisture gets trapped in the finish. Okay, the moist heat gets trapped into the finish, in between the finish and the wood. And when you take a tea towel and you iron over it, you are releasing that moisture that's trapped in there and it absorbs in the towel. There's a lifestyle thing that was a favorite all right, not something you buy or anything, it's totally free. If you have furniture that you think is ruined, do that. A while back, I bought a fire stick because my Apple TV that I had in my room, it was like too old and I didn't want to buy a new one. And I thought, okay, and I was really scared to make that jump because I thought I might actually lose the ability to connect to my Apple computers and to my Apple account and be able to access the, I don't know, 600 movies that I own. Anyway, I wanted to tell you in case you are also in that predicament <laughs> and you are scared to take the plunge from Apple TV to Fire Stick. It totally works with your Apple TV stuff. It is so much cheaper and you have access to more free stuff. I can get all of my subscription stuff in there. I can get access to all kinds of stuff. And it was only like $39.99 for that versus like $300 for a new Apple TV. I bought another one for the kitchen television so that I could continue to watch Justified while I was chopping up onions and making noodles and stuff in there. <laughs> in there. Love my fire TV stick. I feel like now I just wanna be Linus and walk around with my Whoopi blanket. Okay, this isn't a blanket, this is a robe. And I don't even know why I'm showing it to you because I can't tell you who sent it to me. But barefoot dreams stuff. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, this is about the softest thing that I've ever felt <laughs> in my life. And I'm like, oh, so I lay around in this robe for absolutely no reason other than I just like how wooby it is. How wooby it is. But you know what I mean. Again, thank you to the person who sent this robe to me. I love this very, very much. Let's move on to hair stuff. This stuff here is the best purple shampoo that I have tried yet. I love it. Bust Your Brass by Amika. I knew I loved Amika products, but that smells good too. This stuff here does bust your brass. And you can use this every day if you want. So I went through my clarifying shampoo, which is the one by Maraca Oil, and I love that stuff, but I wanted to try something different, and I tried the Kenra clarifying shampoo. I think it's a better buy. I do. So, yes, I love this stuff. Just wanted to make sure I told you, got all the stuff out of the shower so I could let you know about the new stuff I'm using. This, this was actually sent to me by Laura Mercier. It is the Refine Skin Cream Polish. This has grit to it. This has been helping me with my peeling skin. So I really like that more than I like this. Now this I bought, uh, it's Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel. I really do like this. And I bought the, the small size to make sure. But I think I actually prefer this. Right. These two are not the same thing. This is like a peely gommage. You take this stuff and you put it on your dry skin and do that and you know it like balls up all over your face and falls off and you go, oh my gosh, look at all this dead skin I got off my face, which I'm not convinced isn't just this product because 
when I got in the 10 by magnification mirror afterwards, there was still stuff on my face that needed to come off. But this by Laura Mercier, um, I, this really does work, but it's not a gamage. This is a exfoliating cream, polishing cream. I said I would report back on the Tatcha stuff I picked up in the VIB sale. So far, this, eh, it's a meh. The Silk Peony eye cream, I've got eye creams that are just as good that don't cost what this one does. An eye cream that I would love is one that makes my under eyes like feel hydrated, but also look less wrinkled and stays that way, not needs to be reapplied several times during the day. And I think I need to do this a few times during the day. Now I'm not saying this sucks by any means. It doesn't suck. It's just that I won't buy it again. How's that? But this is another story altogether. I sort of wish I'd never tried this. Um, it's gonna be hard to forget this cream. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and go, I don't have the money for this because I obviously spend money on Lancome. And that was pretty much what Mel told me when she was talking me into trying this was, yeah, but you have that same money for Lancome. Okay. <laughs> I do find this stuff more hydrating than any Lancome cream that I've ever used except for this. This is the Lancome Visionaire Nude, however you say that. I don't know. I'm not French. It's wicked. I just can't even tell you. You see that in there? This is so <laughs> ridiculously hydrating. Okay. This is also like that in being that hydrating that you will put this on at night and your skin will feel so good and you'll wake up with a glow to your skin and just really, really nice. I really, really love this. But I also have been using it during the day because I love it so much. And this definitely, you don't want to ever put that on unless you're going to bed. But you see how that kind of soaked in to my skin and made it all, yeah, this does that same thing. I'm not going to not gonna waste it, okay? Just trust me, that stuff is great. This company sent me some stuff. I think her name is Julie, and she owns a company called Bay Harbor Beauty. She sent me these three things, and it sat in here for a little bit because I was busy with Thanksgiving and stuff, but I was so dry, and I thought, okay, let me give this a shot, and I got this body butter out. Um, this is quite possibly the best body butter I've ever tried. This stuff here is so hydrating. Look at this. It's ridiculous. You know how you put on a, a body lotion and then, you know, it feels really good to you. But then in a couple of hours later, your skin feels like you need some more, right? Not with this. This stuff is excellent. And this is the ultimate balm body serum. You don't need very much of that. Okay, you don't need very much of this serum. So this is the Orchid Stem Cell Eye Serum, and this is how taken I was. I used it one night, got up, and felt my skin the next morning and went, oh, heck yeah. And then I went on her website and I purchased more stuff that's not here yet. But there'll be an update coming on this stuff. I am so in love. It is actually going to knock out a few things for me. It's going to be a while because I got a lot of stuff, but... I could see me using this line and foregoing the stuff at the store. <laughs> I've actually not talked to them since they sent this stuff to me. I've not reported back to them or anything like that, but I will check and see. Maybe there's a coupon code or something I can get you guys to try that. Is this sunscreen right here, the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Light Liquid SPF 50. It's a meh. Okay, I'm not gonna throw it across the room and tell you that it's crap because it's not. My problem with this is the same problem I have. Let me dig through the sunscreen bag. I love this, except it turns orange on me. And that's what I have a problem with with this. Maybe if these two have a one that is clear, I could see me getting it again. But as it sits, I will never buy the tinted ones because I'm too fair. I'm an NW13 in MAC, so I'm too fair for this stuff. It just... It turns the wrong color on my skin. Ask me my favorite sunscreen, if it's tinted, is this by Color Science. And my Aqua Skin Moisture Milk. 
Also, SPF 50, love that stuff. It's in my purse though, so I can't show that to you. But those two sunscreens are tops winners for me. All right, a long time ago, Laura Mercier sent me a red lipstick from the Rouge Essential line that I absolutely adore and love. And so I went over to Laura Mercier to get this shade. It is called Mauve Marvelous or something like that. I'll put that right here. But it goes perfectly with this lip liner from them. They sent me this a long time ago, but I bought this and um, they go together really good. So this is Macaron and I've been wearing this all week. I love this color combo so much. This line of lipsticks from Laura Mercier is really kind of hard to beat. It's, I might like them even more than my Lancome lipsticks. They're a little less slippery than my Lancome lipsticks. They're nourishing. They stay. They give a nice stain to them. I just really love them. They're not These two foundations I have totally fallen in love with. I'm wearing this one today. I think that this is stellar. I love this foundation. It's called Bounce Skin Tint. I would even make the case that this, even though it says skin tint on it, is actually a light to medium coverage foundation. It has a dropper, so you need to shake it up really good, and then you get a dropper. So, see it's really runny, but it is beautiful. I heard about this from my friend Tara and she loves it. And I thought, okay, I'm going to give her a shot. And I love this. I think you guys already know that I'm a big fan of the Lisa Eldridge foundation. I do want to do a get ready with me, a mix, a drop of this with my tint, a doll and see what happens. But I think this looks exactly like skin. So if you're hunting a foundation that looks like skin, this one here, right here is it. It does. It looks exactly like skin. And I want to try some more stuff from Cossus. Is that how we say this? This is one beautiful lip oil. I'm just going to emphasize that bite that I got there on my lip. Monopoly is aggravating. I'm telling you, I just bit my lip, literally. All right, but anyway, kind of want to try some more stuff from this brand. Well, this lip oil isn't too heavy, feels really good. There's just enough tint in here that I don't need lipstick if I just want to put it on. And I got to tell you, it feels so good on my boo-boo there. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, I really like this. If you've tried other things from Casas that you think that I need to, if that's how you say it, Casas, if you've tried other things from them that you think I need to take a look at, let me know. Let us talk about this Natasha Denona face palette that I have in light. Not lying. After I got this, I wanted to get it in dark. So yes, what's not to love about this? This is like everyday colors and then we've got a highlight and then we've got this blush. It's a cream to powder kind of deal. So it goes on with a brush or your finger and it's beautiful. Just a slight hint of color and I've been pairing it with this which is kind of close. These colors are kind of close. It's just a little bit deeper than these colors. So these two go together fabulously and I've been using them together and it makes me wonder, do I even need the dark? Both of these palettes are loved by me and they sit out on my vanity in my refer modules. The Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. Okay, so, believe it or not, Mel and I didn't discuss makeup, YouTube or stuff like that very often. Um, we had more of a personal relationship. We talked about personal things, not stuff like this, but this palette, yes, we did. I'm like, really, is it really that good? I mean, not that she would lie to you, but she knows me, okay? And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, how much of this don't I have over and over and over in my collection? Do I actually need this palette? I mean, for crying out loud. She told me, I don't know that you would like it. What I love about this palette is that it doesn't have a scent, which is funny because I love their scented palettes in theory. I love to smell them. But when I wear those things, I think it's the cocoa in it. 
Later in the day, my eyes start itching like crazy. Unless I'm going to be taking it off in a few hours, I, I won't put it on because I'll be itching like crazy later. So I appreciate that this palette doesn't have scent in it. Why she told me, I don't think that you should buy it, I don't know that you would like it, is because she knew that these are beautiful metallics and shimmers. All of these don't have the same payoff. This one down here, it has some grit that'll fall all over your face, but it, it doesn't have the same payoff as say like, like this one, I have to put my finger in that a lot, and there you go, it like stops right there, as opposed to say like the Tiny Marvels, now I know this isn't the same shade, but watch, I'm just going to barely touch the Tiny Marvels palette, and then I'll show you how I can just go on around my, okay, so that's why Mel knew that I like this more than this in payoff. I know a lot of you have been saying you're going to love this and I truly do love the look that you can get. That's what I'm wearing today. Truly do love this. But I have to say that these, she was right. For me, this is just okay. Not anything special when it comes to the shimmers and the metallics in here because I have to work harder than I want to with them. I have to use more of the product. Like say I took my finger and I just put this on. I would have to press get some more press, get some more press to get the intensity that I'm looking for. But if you're looking for a very subtle amount of shimmer, which a lot of ladies my age are, then I think you would really, really love this palette. But for me, it's a beautiful palette. I have been enjoying using it, but I have to tell the truth. The mattes are what sells me on this palette, not the shimmers. When Emily and I were in here playing with makeup and she was putting makeup on me, she was very attracted to this. Actually, she was attracted to these, which are going to be in a giveaway today. All right. But I told her, I'm like, honey, no, no, don't touch those. Momo has one right here that you can play with. <laughs> Longcomb's holiday box this year, I think, is just really good. I love this. You can see I've been loving this. It has their bronzer in it. It has a highlight and two blushes. I really, really do love it. Also, usually in the holiday box, Longcomb will have two lipsticks from the Color Design line, which is not their real expensive lipstick. And one of the shades that they have is usually Natural Beauty, and then the other typically is some kind of a red because it's the holiday box. Uh, but this year, they gave an absolute lipstick, and it's Caprice. Beautiful, beautiful holiday red. So I'm gonna have two winners today for a holiday long comb palette and lipstick. You get the palette and the lipstick is what I'm saying. That was really brilliant of me to stick those together. So this is starting to peel up. I'm sorry. Can you see the glue things on the bottom here? I got them stuck together and it's starting to peel up that one. I apologize, but I've not opened either one of these or touched them in any other way. So if you wanna be entered, say, uh, starlight, star bright in your comment, then I will know that you want to be entered to win. I will pick the winners and put them on my community page on YouTube. Okay, that's how I'm doing this now so that it takes less time and I can turn that out within the next 24 hours. I will be putting the winner on the community page. I think that we're finally to the end, so I'm going to eat these cheddar snacks. But I hope that you guys know that you're the best part of the Fritzy family and that if you're not having a blessed day, all you need to do to get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. I have a lamb coming out of the top of my head. Mary Ann, a little lamb, little lamb with two beady eyes. There it is in my background. Oh, it's on Kim's class. And when I say goodies, I'm talking about edibles. Not, no, not, not those kinds of, not, well, you wouldn't, whatever. I just, I don't even know where, just ignore me. I got the trots. You know what I mean, right? The Hershey squirts. <laughs> Piles of diarrhea. Oh, <laughs> coming out of my butt. I'm like, oh my God, am I going to make it? I'm not going to make it. But wisps, um, while they're really good, they're kind of like, oh, a shark attack on your tongue. Like it goes, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, that's not how that goes. It goes, donut, 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 donut. Yeah! It says right there, Proudly Cheese, Wisconsin. I, you dummy, it's supposed to be Proudly Wisconsin. Jeez. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, perfect. And it, wash your hands all you want. And it's still, you know, you're going around like the girl on the Saturday Night Live. You know, it's like, you know, superstar girl. Superstar. 
She's like, take your wet hands and rub them up and down on that. <laughs> now they're not because <laughs> there's like some oils in here or something. I should read the labels. <laughs> If you got Libby, Libby, Libby on the label, 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 you will like it, like it, like it on your table, table, table. Don't eat that stuff. This, uh, this stuff here is okay, okay? But I want to tell you, okay, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. I love you like the eyes need makeup, you know. I love you. But I should see a little, 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 But I sure, <laughs> that makes me want to go, ah, freak out. Do, 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 Freak out. What is it? Love freak. So chic. Freak out. Let's make that my ringtone. Then I can do that in stores. <laughs>